Hello there my amazing friends on the internet. In today's video, we will make a text editor that updates your code right on the spot. The purpose of this project is to make a tool that you can use to immediately test out any idea you have without needing internet and without making a single file. This is such a great tool to have because ideas can pop up at any time. And if you have a tool that's immediately present for you to try it out, that idea might see the light of day and someday become a part of your app. And if anything, this project is a great place to just practice CSS whenever you want. No prior setup is needed. I must say, this project is analogous to CodePen, the app where you can do the same thing but better. But we want to make our own editor so that we know how it works and how we can make it better. So let's get started. Open up VS Code and make an index.html file, an index.js file, and an index.css file. Here's the emit code to get started. In your head tag, make a link element and set its href to index.css. And in your body, make a script tag and set its source to index.js. Let's design the structure now. We will have a wrapper class called app. In here, we will have an inputs wrapper and an output class with its ID set to output. In the inputs, we need a way to type paragraphs. Generally, people use text areas, but we will be using something else. We will make divs behave like text areas. Start by making a div with the class of editor and the ID of HTML. We also need a div with the class as editor but the ID as CSS. Now if you set their content editable property to true, they will allow the user to type things in them. Also change the type of the output tags to iframes. This will be useful when we start using JavaScript. That's all the HTML we need. Let's jump to CSS. Starting with the body, let's get rid of the margins and set the font family to Arial. Coming to the app, we want it to have a width of 100BW and a height of 100BH. Let's also give it a darker background color to get some contrast going. We also want the things inside to be center aligned and going downwards. So set the align items to center and flex direction to row. The input will take up the entire width of the app. We want the things inside to be spaced evenly and center aligned. Also give it a vertical margin of 1 EM to help differentiate between stuff. Coming to the editor, we have two of them. So let's give them a width of 40% and a height of 50 VH. Give them a darker background color and set the text color to white. For good measures, set the display property to flex and flex direction to column. For those of you with bad eyesight, set the font size to 1.5 EM. Also, let's make its content not stick to the edge by giving it a padding of 1 EM. Hell yeah. Let's deal with the output now. We want it to be just wider than the editor space, so set its width to 90%. Set its height to 90% as well. Also, since we want it to look like a blank page, set its background color to white. Also, remove that ugly outline. Let's also increase the height of the app to 150 VH. And that should be all for our CSS. It's pretty simple stuff. JavaScript will be the easiest segment. All we need to do is to get the text from our HTML and CSS divs and plug it into our iframe. This should happen each time we press a button. To get started, let's make a function to get stuff from the DOM. I will call it ID. We need to pass in a string and return document.getElementById whatever string we pass. We can also make a create function to simplify our create element method. I am calling it create and passing in a string. We need to return document.createElementA. A. I am going to store the HTML div in a variable called ht and the CSS div in a variable called cs. We also need to store the output element. I am naming this variable op. Let's also make a style element and store it in a variable called style. Since we are using an iframe, it won't have any style attribute directly inside. So what we'll need to do is plug in our own style element into the head. Normally, you would do that by using document.head.append something. But since we want it to go into the iframes, we need to use op.contentdocument.head.append style. Now, let's add a keyup event listener. In here, all we need to do is set the op's body.innerHTML to ht.innerText. And we also need to change the style variable's inner text to cs.innerText. This is actually all there is to this program. And as you can see, this was pretty simple. So I'll end this video here. So if you want more of this content, 
smash that like button's entire family, and punch that subscribe button till it cries for its mommy. I can't believe there are 80 of you mad lads watching me right now. I didn't even know there were actually 80 people on this planet. So if you know someone who is suffering from extreme curiosity and needs some help, share my channel with them and end their misery right there. Also, there's a new playlist. Check it out. Okay, bye.